It's no secret that Call of Duty's audio is one of the most complained about things within the game, specifically in Warzone. If you're tired of dying in game in those situations where you had no idea where the enemy came from or how he even got there, then look no further because in today's video guys I'm going to share with you very simple yet very effective audio settings. I'm often asked when I'm live on my Twitch stream how my audio is so clear and why the viewers can hear better through just watching me than when they can when they're actually playing the game. Before you guys think this is for PC only, it is not, it is for both console and PC. I will admit though that there is one trick that I use that is only available to PC users but don't worry console lovers, there is settings for you in this video too. So let's get right into it guys. So to begin, for any PC users out here, you're going to want to make sure you're on your desktop and what you have to do is come to the bottom right here and right click on sound settings. Now I am on Windows 11. So it might look a little bit different if you're on Windows 10, but essentially you want to make sure you get to this window here. Bring up the sound settings on the playback tab specifically. And you want to put right click on your audio device that is putting out your game volume. For me, it is this one here, headphones, Astro Mix Amp Pro Game. Right click on this and go to properties and then go to enhancement tab. Now, as you can see here, I have loudness equalization enabled so make sure this is ticked um, but that is not the only thing you have to do guys make sure before you click apply and ok click on settings make sure the release time is set to short as far to the left as you can once you've done that click ok click apply then ok ok then close it down and that is the only thing that i do that is different between console and pc now for the secret audio setting that i use in game that makes the biggest difference we're gonna have to load up the game let's do that but before i show you that you guys need to check out gear up booster gear up is a general lag reducer so if your latency looks like this in warzone and you want it to look more like this or if you're just sick and tired of random packet bursts and in general an unstable connection then gear up is available to not only pc but also to console and to mobile users now, as you guys can see here, it has a very clean display and actually shows you how much of an improvement it performs to your connection on the game. As you can see from mine, I have an estimated 17 millisecond ping, which is essentially half of what I normally get, which is around 30 to 40 milliseconds. So this is quite a considerable improvement. This is completely safe and legal, so no need to worry about anything that may cross your mind. If you are a console user, do not worry, there's also an option for you to use, it is called Hype Rev. Make sure to use the link in the description below guys to download the gear up booster and let me know how low can you get your ping in the comments below. I'm interested to see who is truly blessed with amazing ping after using gear up booster. Okay so now for the secret, simple and overpowered in game settings guys. The big one is actually a perk that is in the game and it goes by the name Flex. Now this perk is in perk slot 4. And yes, you must give up High Alert, Bird's Eye, or Ghost, which is usually the top three perks to use. But trust me guys, this is a game changer when it comes to audio. It reduces the combat noise, as you can see from the description above. What this does is that it reduces airstrikes, it reduces gunfire, it reduces everything that may go over the top of footsteps that are in game, stuff that may override and overpower the hearing of footsteps and stuff that you really want to hear compared to stuff that you don't want to hear. Now on top of that it also delays explosive while you're sprinting, it warns you that enemy equipment is nearby or enemy explosives such as proximity mines and claymores. So when it says delays explosives while sprinting all you guys have to be doing is an attack sprint, running past a claymore, running past a proximity mine, running past a cluster mine it will delay all of the explosives and it will allow you to catch those pesky campers off guard. Now they will hear their explosive go off, the noise will trigger, but the actual explosive will be delayed and it will not come up and hit you or go off and hit you if it's a claymore. You can actually run past it, keep sprinting past it, if you know where the camper is, they are not going to react quick enough and it's going to allow you to get a quick and easy kill. Now if you ask me, that is quite a lot of pros for using just one perk and I'd say it's worth more than Ghost and worth more than what Bird's Eye can give you, especially since you can get a communication vest in game which gives you Bird's Eye. So definitely be running flex guys, it is definitely a game changer. 
Now guys, here are my in-game audio settings. The big one that you're gonna want to use is you're gonna wanna make sure your audio mix is on PC speaker. Now I've noticed PC speaker and soundbar are the two best with these combinations. As you can see, it tells you on the description to the right here, it gives you a tighter dynamic range and equalizer. PC speaker gives you the tightest, so in my opinion, this is the best audio mix to use. So make sure you're running PC speaker. If you can, if this is only for PC, make sure you use soundbar on console. Now combine that with the in-game volume settings that I have here, guys. You can copy every single one of these. Make sure that you have cinematic music volume and also gameplay music volume to zero. You don't want to be hearing music. Well, you're also trying to be hearing footsteps. It is irrelevant. I know you guys might want to be immersed in the gameplay. If you do, that's fine. No judgment, but if you really want to be ahead of everybody else on top of your game, you don't want to be hearing music when you are trying to hear footsteps. But once you copy that, I'll go through all of these and you guys can copy the rest of them. Here is also a, a pretty good one you want to make sure you have enabled is reduced tinnitus sound. Make sure this is on. Now that is it for the audio settings guys, you're going to want to make sure you copy all of the settings that I have showed you. If you do, you're going to be hearing things absolutely crystal clear. You're going to hear footsteps from up to 100 meters. And you will be able to tell and differentiate which level of floor that they are on. You're going to tell what terrain they're on. You're going to tell if they're on concrete. You're going to tell if they're on a bit of sand, on grass. You'll hear absolutely everything crystal clear guys if you follow every single audio setting that I have put on this video here. I'm going to quickly teach you how to tell the difference of terrain and how to know exactly where to aim when someone is nearby. Each type of terrain on Call of Duty and on Warzone has a distinctive sound whether it's grass like this or concrete or metal or sand Just like those examples, whatever it may be, being able to tell which one it is is so crucial and helpful when it comes to being prepared for the gunfight or just simply knowing where to put your aim. This will help your overall gameplay but I thought I'd include that in this video since we're going over audio settings and advice. If we manage to get 750 likes on this video guys, I'm going to show you all of the top level movement, tips and tricks that pros and your favourite streamers are using to stay ahead of everyone else. I hope you all enjoyed the video, I love you guys and I'll see you all in the next one.